Welcome to the Diesel Laptops Texa IDC5 software training module powered by Diesel Laptops University. Today we're going to be going over the IDC5 program. By double clicking the program, if you get the error code HW key not detected, that means you did not install the HASP key. The HASP key is the small green thumb drive included in your Texa kit. It must be installed at all times when using the IDC5 software. Once you've launched the IDC5 software, the first page you're going to come to is the environment page. From here, you're going to select the type of vehicle that you're working on, whether it be car, truck, bike, off-highway, or marine. We are currently connected to an International Pro Star, so we're going to be selecting truck. So once we've made our module selection, we have five different categories we can choose from here. So we're going to start with heavy duty and bus. Heavy duty and bus is going to be your class 5, 6, 7, and 8 vehicle. The next tab is the medium duty. This is where you're going to find your Ford, Chevrolet, and Dodge vehicles, as well as your Mitsubishi and your Hino cab overs. And then we have light commercial vehicles, which will include your Sprinter vans and your small delivery vehicles. Next we have the powertrain module, which will allow us to directly connect to modules, bypassing the make and model. And we also have the trailer ABS tab. So we're going to choose heavy duty and bus. We're going to choose an international chassis. And then we also have the option to hit this AVIN icon, which will automatically detect what engine make is in the vehicle. Once we've selected our make, we're going to choose our engine model, which will be an international, which will bring us to the self-diagnosis screen. Here we have a lot of different avenues we can take when connecting to a vehicle. The first option is the TGS3 system scan. Once selected, it will give us the type of cable we need to connect, the CAN bus communication port location, and a short video clip of the actual CAN bus communication port. Once you've connected using the TGS3, please note that some modules will not allow you to clear faults from this function. If we have a yellow box, that indicates a module has a fault code present. A red box indicates there is no module detected, and a green box indicates that the module is detected and is free of faults. We can view these DTCs by clicking DTC Detected. This will give you each code within each module that is stored. You also have the slow scan option, which will allow you to connect to modules that may not have connected the first time. So now we're going to actually connect directly to a module by double clicking. We'll choose diesel injection. Follow the prompts and hit confirm. So once we've connected, the first screen you're going to come to will be the fault screen. But before we get too in-depth on how to actually navigate this software, I want to go back and show you some other connection options. So we've gone over the global scan. Let's go over some of these other functions that are available. We will just exit out of system scan to go back to the main screen. From here, you notice we have the actions on vehicle. The first one is the vehicle maintenance. This is a quick access menu, and these are the things that you can access while using it. 
Some of the examples include the following. You'll notice that this has an SCR faults reset request, even though we're connected to a 2010 model that does not have SCR. One thing to keep in mind is anytime you're using any of the action icons, it's going to give you all available tests for all available years for that specific model truck and engine. Next we're going to go to adjustments and coding. Again, this is for all available year models for that particular model vehicle. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how to connect to a vehicle so it only shows the specific tests that that vehicle can perform. Here I'm just showing you some of the examples that are under the actions icon for adjustments and coding. So next we're going to go to the activations test icon. We'll just scroll through and have a look at some of the tests that are available. Keep in mind that all of these action icons that we've explored are just quicker ways to access these specific tests or changes that you would like to make. Okay, we're going to go back, and now we're going to directly connect to an ECU. We're going to choose diesel injection, which is the engine ECM, and by doing this, it will give us proprietary tests and coding for that specific vehicle. We can use the film strip icon here, which will give us the same connection information that we got when using the global scan. We can click next, or we can exit out and go through the start. Follow the prompts and click confirm. And once we've directly connected to this module, again, we will now have specific testing for that specific year model vehicle. And this concludes TEXA IDC5 Vehicle Connection Training Module. Please proceed to the next module.